there, it's Katie Crysdell here from Lakeview Aquatic Consultants. After taking a little bit of a break from YouTube, I've decided to come back with a new series that I'm really excited about and it's called Aquatic Industry Insider. So as some background as to why I'm doing this series, I've been following a channel called What's Going On With Shipping by Sal Macaglano for a couple months now. Completely different industry, it is focused on the commercial shipping industry, so big boats at sea. And what I really love about this channel is uh, every week during the school year or multiple days during the summer, um, this individual, Sal, he takes news articles that are relevant to his industry and he talks about them. He puts them into context about what they mean, why they're important. He provides critical analysis, agreeing with the writers, disagreeing with the writers, looking at the larger picture of why these stories matter. And it's become one of my favorite channels to uh, watch. I say watch, but I listen to his uh, analysis often while I'm walking. And I really thought there was a connection to what's going on in the aquatics industry, the swimming pool industry commercially. For a number of years, I've been sharing on the Lakeview Aquatic Consultants Facebook page articles that I feel are really relevant to our industry. I am really bad at selecting articles that would be considered clickbait or good for the algorithm. I've always used our Facebook page as a library or a repository where I post these articles and then I know I can always go back and search for that article if I'm sending it to a client who has a uh, question about a similar topic. So case in point, I had somebody ask me a number of months ago about inflatable obstacle courses and children in life jackets around them. And I knew there had been an article I shared from somewhere in the US, a campground or an RV resort. And so I was able to use the search function on our Facebook page to go and find that exact article. And that's basically how I've been using the Lakeview Facebook page for a number of years. It's always got different content from Instagram. It's always got different content from YouTube where we've always focused on webinars. But I've always been limited by the space at the top of a Facebook post, how much commentary I can put there. And it's a balance between trying to get the bottom line up front so that people read the article, but then also not, um, not doing an injustice to the article and misrepresenting what it means. And I've definitely gotten into trouble once or twice with articles where I didn't provide the whole context and it, uh, it aggravated people or it made them quite angry about my opinions on the issue, which I was trying to summarize in one or two sentences. So bringing all this back to the YouTube channel, um, what Sal does is he talks about these news articles in great depth. And if you're interested in the article, then you listen. If you're not interested in the article, then you don't listen to the recording. And it ends up being, let's say, 15 to 20 minutes for five to six articles which means that there's several minutes on each article and it really provides adequate time to really cover what might be unspoken between the lines, background and context. So that's why I'm here with you today. I want to start doing that with the swimming pool industry. Every week I'm going to be summarizing and discussing a couple of articles that I feel are key. Um, just my opinion in terms of my professional experience and how I see these articles fitting into the bigger context of the industry. And it's interesting because the articles and what's trending, it changes week to week. Certainly there is uh, trends, like right now we are in summer of 2022 and lifeguard shortages are the big topic. Summer of 2021, we could say that stabilized chlorine for residential pools was the big topic. Summer of 2020, obviously COVID-19 pandemic, pool closures was the big topic. But I think this is going to be a great mechanism for me to drill in each week into uh, topics maybe that are less obvious, that are still really relevant to our industry. And I try and do this a little bit in our monthly newsletter for Lakeview Aquatic Consultants, but as you can imagine with newsletters, everybody has a different expectation with newsletters and whether they're too long, they're too short. This really gives me the, the time and the space to respond in live time and hopefully you can find these videos beneficial. If not, I think they're going to be a valuable time capsule because 
a lot of topics we come back to. They're cyclical every few years, every few months. And even when I was looking at the articles that I've posted on our Facebook page in just the last month that I've been thinking about doing this exercise, there have been a huge variety in the topics that uh, we would cover if we were to start doing this uh, weekly. So I hope you'll join me. Uh, if you find these videos interesting, subscribe. Please follow our YouTube channel. That really helps with the algorithm to get the right content in front of you, whether you're an aquatic professional, certified pool operator. And if you have any feedback, as always, leave a comment below, send us an email. Uh, I look forward to getting to know you better.